can change at the drop of a hat. So you have to make sure if you are selling, you know exactly what the buyers want. Mm -hmm. Our renovation realities week continues now with Jesse Schultz. And Jesse, there are things you can do to kick up your home's curb appeal. Yeah, sometimes there's just not enough time or money to completely fix up your home when you are selling. But I found some affordable and doable ways you can make sure your home can compete with those newly renovated ones on the market. We always say first impressions can make all the difference. Well, it's the same when you're selling a house. People make their decision whether they want to buy a house in an average of 10 seconds. Darren and Kate Mancuso own We're Relief here. Properties. The bathroom, they have been buying, flipping, and well. selling homes for years in Northeast energy. Ohio. And while they're experts in complete renovations, they say there's little things you can do to help sell your home without ever having to pick up a power tool. First, it's all about clearing the clutter. Clean your countertops, get rid of a ton of personal items like picture frames because people want to picture themselves there. You don't want them to feel like they're intruding into someone else's home. Yeah. And clean those closets. Taking out a shirt that you haven't worn in three years, you know, and just, you know, either donate that or just put it in storage. Anything that you can do to make it look cleaner. Fix up little odds and ends. The buyers in today's market just want to move right in and they don't want to do practically anything. Replacing faucets, light fixtures, updating old paint with a fresh, neutral color. There's anything like that that you've just kind of overlooked for years, someone else is going to notice right away. And the outside is just as important as the end. Making sure that it's manicured, um, the bushes, put some fresh mulch down in the beds mm -hmm. to make it look like it's just been mm -hmm. landscaped. Because it's the little things that can cause you to lose big in the end. That's the goal is, is to have someone walk into your home and say, this is it. We're done with our long, exhaustive search, right. and I can see myself living here. And if you're going to fix up any room in your home, make it be the first one that people walk into because, again, first impressions are key. But, again, also you can fix up kitchens and bathrooms because buyers seem to care about those the most. Live in Cleveland, Jesse Schultz, News 5.